Maple Terror 29 is kicking off spooky season a little early this weekend. And joining us to tell us what they have going on is Zach Tenebo, owner of Terror 29. Hello. Hello. Okay, so I guess let's just start. What is Terror 29 for those that maybe don't know? Um, sure. So we're uh, basically a haunted attraction, mm -hmm. but we're also this Friday opening a horror store. So our goal is really just to have a whole immersive experience for mm -hmm. Halloween enthusiasts, horror enthusiasts. Um, but we started kind of just as the haunted house. Okay. So what will this kind of, you know, shop be? What's it going to all include? Yeah, so uh, tom tomorrow, Friday, we have a ribbon cutting. We're unveiling uh, a full retail store, horror items, action figures, Captain Spaulding action figures, all sorts of knickknacks, keychains, t-shirts, etc. Uh, with the hopes to have it be open more year round, mm -hmm. uh, which will allow us to do different events year round and then connect with the community more instead of just being open in October. Mm -hmm. This will allow us to do stuff more year round with the fans of horror. Now, how do you think, you know, that'll actually really attract people in the community as far as having options year round for people, you know, this could be a great I event hope so. or I things hope like so, that yeah. year round. So I guess <laughs> just talk about that and maybe hopes for that. Yeah, so I guess it's just really to see what the, for the horror store specifically, mm -hmm. to see what the demand is. Uh, we'll probably just be open every Saturday. If the demand is really high, we can be open more often or mm -hmm. by appointment only. Uh, or if nobody shows up, then we just, you know, are open maybe once a month or whatever. But yeah. it'll be interesting to see what the turnout is and how we've got a lot of comments, a lot of messages that people are excited for this. So hopefully they show up. Yeah, and I guess talk about kind of where it's located and things like yeah, that. Yeah, so we are in Brandon, South Dakota, uh, 1420 East Cedar. And so this Friday at 12.30, we have the ribbon cutting to unveil the gift shop, the horror store. And then from 7 to 10, we'll actually open up the haunted house as well so people can walk through. We'll have all the monsters, the freaks, our actors, characters in there uh, terrifying you. So it'll be a whole weekend event. I guess talk about, you know, this weekend as mm -hmm. far as you know how people can kind of get involved and as far as you know what they can expect sure. from the store like hey, is it a lot of options is it kind of you know what's how have you started um so if you love halloween or horror definitely yes. stop in that's that's so the niche nice. that's what it's for uh but the whole weekend stop in say hi see what it's all yeah. about for sure um if they want so the haunt that's free the ribbon cutting mm -hmm. is free we'll have like desserts okay. there'll be some characters there you can uh, take selfies with that's at 12 30. Uh, so stop in that's free otherwise uh, terror29.com you can get tickets for the haunted house that evening it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to walk through mm -hmm. uh, there's all sorts of little rooms and hallways and strobe effects and fog and scares and monsters and things popping out at you Okay, so yeah. I guess as far as spooky season, when do you guys open up then your haunted houses, you know, regularly? Yeah, so normally we're always <laughs> every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday in October. Okay, so, are you yeah. looking at maybe like ex extending? You know, we've always season? wanted to, yeah. So this halfway to okay. Halloween is kind of a step towards that direction. Okay. Uh, since day one, we actually started in 2019 at the Crooks Renner exit. We've evolved into Brandon now. Mm -hmm. But since day one, I've always wanted to do uh, Krampus, like a, a Christmas themed Halloween or uh, Bloody Valentine's for February. So it would be cool to sprinkle different events in and that's what's great about the gift shop and the horror store is kind of our hub mm -hmm. is what we're calling it. That is allowing us to kind of do different events where the haunted house can be in October and we have a few other things up our sleeve that we're not ready uh, to quite announce mm -hmm. yet but there'll be some other things that they can do year round as well where the gift shop is kind of that main entrance or hub into this portal or this world. Wow, that's yeah. exciting. I guess yeah. to talk about what it's like just to see, you know, people in the community come out and enjoy, you know, having this here. It's super cool. Brandon's been open arms and we love being in the community and being a part of that. And it's just really fun to how as a kid, like high school, middle school, I love going to a haunted mm -hmm. house. I loved Halloween. I loved horror. You get all of your buddies together. You're standing in line. You're hearing the, the noises on the other side. You're mm -hmm. psyching yourself out. You're getting <laughs> scared. Yeah. And now, flash forward to now, I get to give that experience back. Mm -hmm. My team, I have a really awesome team. We all work together. We're, we all have full-time jobs, so this is even myself. So we just do this part-time on the mm -hmm. side. It's our passions come together. So a really good team. But to be able to give that back, so like flash forward, what I loved so much as a kid, now I can give that, mm -hmm. you know, back. So that's what's really fun. Yeah, I'm definitely the person in a haunted house where my eyes are closed. I'm holding on to sure, someone like, yep. lead me through. I don't, <laughs> like, I'm terrified. So what you're saying is come October, we have to have you come through. We'll film it. We'll post it online. Oh, I'm sure everyone would love that. <laughs> right? I'm sure right? they're talking back, you know, we'll yep. get it scheduled. Yeah, let's plan this, right? <laughs> well, thanks for being here yeah, this morning. Yeah, thank you so much. Appreciate I appreciate it. it.
Yeah, and coming up, we're going to check with Kelly Nyberg and 2024 Spring Parade of Homes after the break. <laughs> 